everybody, welcome back, Movie Geek Out Time, where basically Mary and I talk about a movie we just saw, and we just saw Alita, Battle Angel. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm too lazy to do any editing, so I'll just do it vote verbally. Okay. So we got to see it a little bit early at one of the fan events, and we got to see it in 3D and IMAX, which is definitely the way to see it. Yep. And uh, I will say... The 3D, because I was asked, uh, our buddy James over here asked, you know, 3D or 2D, and I was like, well, I don't think you're really missing out if you go 2D, because the 3D wasn't bad, but I don't think that added a lot to it, except in maybe some of the Vista shots. Yeah. So that's my only thing, but I do recommend big format IMAX as best you yeah. can. Um, cause yeah, so basically just a reminder, these are not really reviews. We're just geeking out. We're not being film critics. We're just talking about movies we enjoyed or occasionally hated. This happens to be one we very much enjoyed. <laughs> So, are we spoilers? Well, I was going to say, we'll give them our quick, you know, kind of just a couple minutes here or whatever of our, okay. our just our general right. impressions. And I do want to lay the groundwork that I'm going into this. I have not read the manga or seen any anime or anything. And right. she did a while ago. Yeah, I, I read the manga, like, back when it was coming out in English back in the day. So, it's been a while. So... I may say things that are incorrect. Feel free to correct me nicely in the comments. Yes, we do like to learn when we're wrong. You just don't be a jerk about it, which, you know, most people watching these are the cool people, so they aren't typically yeah. jerks. Um, but that said, I really enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. I would definitely like another one. I have, you know, I have some quibbles here, they are minor things, um, but like, first and foremost, the CG is absolutely phenomenal in this. This is mm -hmm. some of the best CG I have ever seen. Uh, Alita herself is incredible yeah. it's completely groundbreaking you eventually get used to the eyes yeah <laughs> and, and but i mean even like the skin textures the hair and yeah. she's like acting alongside real actor like mm -hmm. human actual people and you buy it like they have really crossed the line yeah. in cg here that is just miraculous i think and there's a lot of other stuff going on too like yeah. heads and mech bodies and stuff that's very very cool yep. um pacing is great it, it, if anything it actually feels longer than it is but not in a bad way not like slow yeah but because so much happens that I, I had to look after well, I was like are we sure that's not three well, hours well, you got to the end of the movie it's like oh my god are we going to be doing this now yeah not, not in a bad way but I was just going like the story it's kind of like the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie where you thought it was going to end and it didn't and then you thought it was going to end and <laughs> okay. it didn't and yeah. then you're like Okay, there's the ending. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, I can get behind that idea, yeah. And if anything, I think one of the things it does suffer from, and this is just the thing, if you try and take a manga uh, or an anime or whatever and you turn it into a film, mm -hmm. is there are parts where it feels a little too condensed. Like, you know there's more there and you want to know about it, but, you know, you can't well, do every bit did of it. merge two story arcs together. Right, yeah. And I, I'm trying to decide how I feel about that. All right. And then the only other thing I think I could maybe say non-spoilery is, and you kind of know this is going to happen because again, ang anime as long as they go on forever, y y it's almost got that problem, not problem, but you know, a lot of movies today get flack for like, oh, we're, but we're going to set up for sequels. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but I think that's just inherent in the source material here. So I'm not really yeah. knocking the movie for it. Because honestly, I thought they were going to end some things way earlier than they did. And I'm like, really? We're going to let all those threads hang? But... No, there was That's plenty. That's because they decide <laughs> to pull in the second story arc, <laughs> which I will talk about when we can get to spoilers. Right, which we're almost to. So overall, though, I really love this. I would see it again. I highly recommend it. Um, Robert Rodriguez, it's great to see him return to form with something truly fantastic. And as we saw in a special interview thing after, mm -hmm. it was neat that he got out of his comfort zone and made yeah. a movie in a different style than he's used to making. And that was really neat hearing him and James Cameron talk about them influencing yeah. each other. Yeah. And then you're over... Of just, course, if James Cameron comes over and taps on his shoulder, it's like, hey, I don't have time to direct this movie. You do it. Yeah. Do you say no? Right, exactly. Well, I might, because I don't know as good as I might think I am. I'm not sure I'm quite that good yet. Um, but uh, I do like that, and I love the analogy Rodriguez made with him and Cameron about how Rodriguez is a cartoonist, mm -hmm. and Cameron came from illustrating, which are two totally different things. I yes. thought that was really neat and, and apparent. Yeah, yeah, and I, this is like, yeah, that makes sense, because... I, I, I can see watching Avatar camera going like, oh, you actually thought some of this crap out. Okay. Yeah, well, like, even, even just the idea, not a spoiler, it's not, it does not affect the story at all, but, you know, that it's set in Latin America because there is a space elevator, and that means James Cameron's like, it has to be on the equator, mm -hmm. or that couldn't exist. I was like, 
that is what makes James Cameron James Cameron. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so you definitely enjoyed it even as a fan of the manga? Yes. All right, well, cool. Well, let's go ahead then, everybody. Here comes your warnings. If you don't want spoilers, you're going to want to clear out now because we're going to start getting into spoilers and geeking out about some of our favorite moments in here. And uh, so, warning in spoilers, 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 spoilers. All right, so that should be plenty of time to pause. So... The sex scenes were beautiful. No, I'm just <laughs> um, I was like, I'm just doing the fake spoilers, but yeah. So, spoil away. You, you start. Oh, if I get my head together. I'm trying here. to think. Of a shot. Um, anyway. Yeah, right, okay, well, yeah. so much. Of, well, okay. So, the, pulling in the the, the the motorball story arc. Um, well, let me ask you a question about that because I know coming into this, I, I feel like you were saying that you were concerned that they were going to do too much, or maybe reviews were saying it's more motor motorball than than other stuff or something. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel that way? Because I didn't feel that way. I thought it was I the right amount. I think they did a pretty good job of meshing the two together. Cool. Um, all things considered, but what? But okay, so. Um, the whole she gets into the whole motorball thing because of all the shit that goes down with Hugo. Because there is no motorball in the first story arc. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, that that that's just something she, she basically just kind of throws herself into because you know all that stuff with Hugo with having to basically kill him. And yeah. To to make everybody else think he's dead and then bring him back and then just to lose him all over again. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's got to go kind of clear her head. I can imagine that. And then she dumps the <laughs> berserker body, gets herself a racer body in. Hmm. Oh, okay, interesting. Now, I don't think... They, they didn't really do that in the movie, though, right? Cause they, Actually, what, that body she had at the end the body. Was, was not... It, it was different. Okay. It still it, had that purple color thing going on, but that def, unless the berserker body remodeled itself again... Okay. And I, and I see why they did that for the movie, but even that may be one of those kind of odd choices for me, but at the same time, I feel like, not knowing the manga, I can just assume that... What else do you do? Because obviously they're not going to take down the big, big bad just yet. Yeah. Well, I, I think part of the thing was is that, again, Ito had a point. You don't want to wreck this body that we cannot replace playing motorball. Right, although didn't they kind of establish that it, it's like stark armor and kind of re fixes itself in the movie there? Yeah, they but, kind so, of but well, that. well, we saw it took a mi relatively minor amount of damage. Oh, that spike thing digging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty heavy, in my opinion. <laughs> well, but anyways, what I, I was getting at was I was getting at that was my kind of one of my. Or maybe they just said this is like. Way, way overpowered even for motorball no <laughs> yeah that's fair um but like that the ending felt not off but a little bit like oh the sequel baiting kind yeah. of thing but that's kind of what you got to do because i almost feel because a little there is more story to tell i understand that that's what i'm saying i'm of two minds of this i'm just explaining that to people <laughs> that this may be something they're gonna feel or maybe they feel like i do that you know it, it, i wanted the big fight i wanted her to take down the big evil because that's a movie that's a self-contained movie and that may just be one of those things where if you're trying to adapt anime or manga you're like mm -hmm. you just can't because those stories go yeah, on and on right. unless you do something like a Helsing and you know it's a tight 10 episodes it's, or whatever oh god I, I have I think I have it all at home they, there's some that came out later but it, def it definitely um, made me want to go home and like I watch the anime. I think I have at least anime. 10 volumes. It, did they make it an anime or is it just I, manga? OVA I think. Well I still like I want to go see some I want to go see what the the actual Japanese yeah. versions of things were like because a lot of that stuff is awesome I love Jeff Fahey as the dog dude <laughs> uh, all the robot dogs and stuff yeah. that was awesome I'm sure that's something again more fleshed out and because I feel like that bounty hunter bar mm -hmm. is like we just have to gloss over it the fans are gonna want to see these characters I imagine a lot I, of them had things actually, in the they, manga I don't think they get that much time in the manga well I don't either. mean like big arcs I don't mean like they're major characters but I, they probably no, no. had a beat like, or okay, something that first story arc was a volume okay so, right. uh, and, and again, unless I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure the, the first arc was a volume. So take out all the motorball crap, and, and that, she's not calling it bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just call everything crap. Yeah, even if it's not crap, it's crap. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's dating Eric, but marrying Eric, but um, <laughs> things haven't changed. But, Don't freak out. <laughs> but, but basically, if you kind of take out that whole. Uh, motorball thing mm -hmm. and, and condense all the bounty hunter stuff down mm -hmm. that's pretty much the first story arc hmm. okay yeah well, that stuff was interesting and i tell you i liked both now some people i'm gonna make a comparison that some people are gonna cringe and be like oh that sounds bad but you gotta understand mm -hmm. and i think you're with me on this maybe not as much as me but i love the wachowski speed racer movie 
That was a movie I had I thought was going to be the dumbest thing ever, and somehow that is I still love that movie. And those yeah. races are fantastic. Yeah, it's and beautiful. I got that same great feeling from that in the motorball sequence. Mm -hmm. Like that felt like I mean, it's obvious it's very much its own thing in this movie, but I mean that yeah. same feeling, that sensation that made me love that movie for just how cool those things were. I got that out of the motorball. Like I could just watch two hours in motorball matches and them trying to kill her and her whipping all their asses and stuff. <laughs> like that was thrilling. Yeah. And the fight with the the big dude, I can't remember the big mech dude's name. Oh god. But shocked me to find out that was Jackie Earl Haley playing him. Because I saw his name in the credits and like, who who the fuck was he in this movie? Oh. <laughs> I was looking at his face the entire time going like he looks familiar. Uh uh-huh, but they've just so CG'd a completely yeah, different body for, type. It's, 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 it's Gear. Yeah, yeah, I kept thinking, is that Nicholas Holt? But it's not, yeah. Yeah, he does kind of look like that in the movie, doesn't <laughs> well, he? Yeah, it's him and um and, and Ed Skeeran, and there's one other guy I'm totally blanking on right now. They're, they're like, because there's always those like groups of people oh, in yeah, Hollywood yeah. that it's like, it's, it's one of those. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like the male Zoe Dashanel kind of thing, where it's like, <laughs> is it Zoe or is it this person or that person? Um, um, but yeah, and he was fantastic. He, you really hated him. Fucking mm -hmm. hated him. <laughs> Although his 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 he in he a good was, way. He was very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was very pretty, <laughs> which was a great fucking design, man. His face half sliced yeah. off like that. That was but so it cool. Like they had the, the the Aztec or mine uh, Aztec calendar on his back. Yeah, and you like the little face in there. That yeah. kind of stuff was cool. I really liked that. The the me the tank mechs. Mm -hmm. Those things were awesome because I like I we liked the Ghost in the Shell movie, but yeah. I wanted more out of that. And I I know you did too for a different reason, <laughs> but, different reason. <laughs> but I feel like I got the action I wanted out of those tank I wanted tanks to act like little Japanese schoolgirls. Right, yeah. There's something so wrong with that. <laughs> nah, you're fine. Um, but yeah, all that stuff was great. The performances are fantastic. Uh, there was not a bad yeah. player in here. Um, and yeah. I was worried about the romance being a little too tweeny, but it totally yeah. worked. I'm, they I'm had great chemistry. so glad that, that they actually addressed the fact that Ido didn't have his little mark. Mm. By the way, I, I have to go double check now because I guess we're that, that city is supposed to be called Tafaris. Not, I don't even remember not, what it was called not, in the movie, so I can't. Help. Yeah, yeah, and we are so bad with names, and it's like that—that's not the name. What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not right. And then Mashallah Ali yet again, and he's yeah. gonna—he's gonna be the underrated actor in this movie, I believe, because yeah. most people are just going to forget about him. And it's not that he's forgettable, but there's so much other great stuff going on and memorable stuff. But I think he's not going to get the d credit he deserves in this because he did kind of do a dual role, mm -hmm. you know, where he was playing this, uh, you know, corporate evil dude kind of character. Yeah. But also then he had to be the big bad when he would take <laughs> over his body. And they're and very that was different. Ed Norton? Yeah. I was like, that's what I thought. He was like, oh, so, so he's going to be replaced by Mark Ruffalo if they make a sequel, <laughs> I assume. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guess. Oh, I would love that. I would love that dearly. <laughs> no, no, uh, sorry, Ed Norton, but it would be funny. They said thing. Ed Norton's got the right body type for it. Yeah, like I say, I don't know the character, so all I got was what I saw in the movie. Um, but uh, ooh, before I forget, one little. But Jennifer Connelly's character, I'm sitting here going like, no, I'm gonna forget. I don't remember her. B. I was just like, was she made for this, or was she a character that didn't come into like the third or fourth story arc where they're like actually on the floating city? <laughs> Spoilers for the sequels, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, oh, two things before I forget then. Um, one, and I think actually they, this may have actually been the same location, but Ito's shop, mm -hmm. I kept thinking that place is familiar. I think that was one of the main bars in Desperado. So just a fun thing to <laughs> think about if you know those movies. And then the other thing is when the first trailers for this came out, like the biggest name, uh, like if you had to go by search ranking of names, was Michelle Rodriguez. And oh my God, she's in like two shots in this movie. <laughs> and I only recognized her from the last shot in her voice. Was she was the, the assassin? That, no, she was the one training uh, Alita in the flashbacks. Oh, is that her? Yeah, because I caught her oh, voice when they're dealing with the big ring things. I was like, oh, that's Michelle Rodriguez. Okay. I didn't recognize her with the hair and the things. Well, yeah, again, and... it was very different looking. You know, it's yeah. mostly her vo voice that sent it off for me. So yeah. I just thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sitting here again. I, I kind of need to reread re, re because I think they dropped some things that, again, don't in the manga don't get re, you know revealed until two, three Way later. arcs later. Yeah. I'm like, Oh, we're doing that now? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I also, um, yeah, oh God, the killing of the dog. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't actually show that. I, I, I would have been, but 
that's because I like weird ass horror shit. But it's PG thirteen. But it does lead to the best use of a fuck in a pe well one of the best they they used their one fuck perfectly <laughs> is what I'm trying to say when she's fighting the big dude mm -hmm. underground and she gets sliced into pieces and she's like I she's like Anakin Skywalker's yeah. like damn girl I'm jealous because <laughs> she's got one arm and she's still fighting it like her whole body is ripped off no legs another and she still fights this fucker and is like I'll show no mercy or whatever and she rams her one arm in his eye <laughs> fuck your mercy it like, breaks her arm off in his eye yeah the only way that got cooler if it was in his ass it's like I'm gonna break my arm off in your ass but that was awesome but I'm sitting kind of like how did you not destroy his brain doing that yeah um, well maybe it's okay. been surgically moved <laughs> elsewhere I don't <laughs> such a I'm big a, a basically head. compact brain. Yeah. Um, I, ooh, I wonder if they do like a video game with a motorball or something. That could be cool. Uh, maybe way too much for VR though. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I mean, all that stuff was so good. And then like the chase through the city at the end. That stuff was incredibly thrilling. The fact they did kind of actually kill the boyfriend. Like that was. I was like, oh shit. They're really I, I kept waiting for that. Cause that I definitely remembered again. But. I don't think she had anybody helping her when that happened. She somehow did all that herself, I think, in the manga. Ah. Well, see, I also have an... Well, it's, it's a nitpick, though. But it's I, like, and I think it's, I'm trying to remember if Hugo was a baddish guy doing... Cause I don't think he was doing hijacking. The part jacking. The, the part jacking. That might have been something they just needed to condense the story. I, yeah. I don't know. I could see that being the case. Um, but I don't... And again, I, I don't want to get into Mary Brain and, like, dissect... How does this world actually work? Because I know Cameron was involved, it's gonna make sense somehow. <laughs> but I'm not sure how the the news, the, the 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 lie of the boyfriend killing a guy got the warrant on his head so quickly. Oh. So I don't know if that's just something they just didn't have time to explain how that part of the system works or whatever. Because well, <laughs> I mean, it was or, like five minutes ago, and he's been chasing him down ever since. You know. Or the 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 Ed Skeen characters. Maybe somehow like photoed and sent shit yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah re reported it. And... and then I wanted to, during that chase, be like, I mean, come on. I mean, clearly the kid is running. He doesn't have a sword. I mean, like, this should be provable. And then I had to remember, oh, that's right. There's no cops. Like, there's no law enforcement. There's just these unchecked bounty hunters. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I mean, that's cool. And I like this world. plus he's a known accomplice of Alita, which probably does not help him out. Yeah, here. yeah. So again, all, like even my little nitpicks are just stupid things that when I really get a chance to stop and think about mm -hmm. it, they're fine. They make sense. Yeah. So, and I, you know, I mean, I, maybe maybe I wasn't as emotionally connected to things as I would have liked to. I was emotionally connected. But maybe could have been a little bit more, um, you know, and I, and I don't know. So other than that, I just really, really, t and then the ending, not what it's satisfying, but it's not the full satisfaction, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, but again, that's just going to be the problem of anime and manga live action adaptations uh, yeah. with, with certain exceptions, I'm sure. But um, yeah. Oh, and, oh my God. Alita's so adorable though, <laughs> especially in the beginning when she's kind of learning everything again yeah. for the first time. Just so many moments. There's even like moments like, oh, okay, she's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really cool. Um, yeah. Although she, she's she's kind of stalker girlfriend territory at one point, but it was like. <laughs> yeah, when she's in his window while he's sleeping with yeah. his shirt off and all that. I'm like, oh, look, it's a reverse Twilight. Um, I was like, oh, here, here, just take my heart. <laughs> yeah, there's that too, yeah. <laughs> but I love the fact that it was like, when it was beating, you could. It was like she was kind of having to keep a hold of it to keep it from like falling out of her hands because it was beating so hard. That was really neat. I, I appreciated that and the design work and all that stuff. It was just, it's awesome. There's no post credit, no mid credit. Um, but yeah, man, I would, mm -hmm. I recommend it. Sounds great. Everything's great. Music's cool. Robert Rodriguez wrote most of the songs. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that. Oh, did he? Yep. Okay. Um, and again, I think we've talked about it. This is for like our loyal subscribe like the people that know about us and our backstories and stuff i'm sure we've talked about it a time or two here about like my dream home is actually like this giant filmmaking <laughs> compound with houses for friends so they can help work and live for free and all you know and um so she realized tonight i joked because this was filmed in texas and of mm -hmm. course robert rodriguez essentially built a, a, a movie studio <laughs> on his property with sound stages and everything and 
I joked, it's like, this is pretty impressive considering this was shot in his backyard. <laughs> so I was telling her about that, and she's like, oh yeah. And she started to realize it before I even said it, but I was like, where do you think I got the inspiration for what my dream home yeah. is? So I thought that was like, kind of cool. You're going to have to scale it down yeah, a bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you have to scale even more. You mean I can't have a score stage, a looping stage, a re recording stage, a VO stage with five editing booths? And <laughs> Come on! What if, I can't have the sound stage with the retractable floor and the hydraulics that go down nine feet with seawater being pumped in so he can do underwater. Come on! No. <laughs> this is the tangent for this video, by the way. Is my dream dream home? Uh, <laughs> Anywho, you're. I'll build you up. a cat, a kitty room. I like that I get all this stuff and I build you a kitty room. <laughs> and this is when everybody goes, goes thumbs down. That was the joke. All right, uh, but yeah, so yeah, highly recommended. If you're into this kind of stuff, I think you're gonna have a good time. We did. Yeah. Oh, and then I, I was, I was <laughs> Oscars. Uh, no, <laughs> no, for real, I did have one Oscar point though, about this movie. Oh, did you get a pin? I got a pin. See, I had to start wearing these pins for when she gets mad and tries to hit. <laughs> um, no, the visual effects in this are so good, and maybe this is because I've been watching the visual effects Oscar movies for 2018, 2019, whatever. Yeah. But this. I can't imagine anything else winning over this already mm -hmm. for next year. That's how good that was. Yeah, um, Nerdist actually did a thing where they sent Hector down to is it Australia, uh, New Zealand, wherever it is. Oh, wherever, yeah, wherever New Zealand, yeah. Is. And uh, they actually suited him up and they showed off how, how the, the live CGI action okay. works in real time now. Yeah, yeah, because you can see your character moving with the body in real time. Mm -hmm. Again, that was that's why James Cameron's involved. That was his avatar invention, essentially. <laughs> that and the, the virtual camera, which mm -hmm. was like a clever the clever thought that no one had had till I think Cameron did it which is essentially motion tracking a fake camera so that you can even you can see your CG moves you mm -hmm. know but move it like a real camera operator would so I thought that was neat but um, but yeah just thrilling awesome good time liked mm -hmm. it all right well there you guys go what did you think if you saw it if you you know feel free to spoil because this is called a spoiler video so if you obviously if you're watching this far it's too late but yeah. don't look in the comments um, <laughs> but yeah comment away let us know what you thought about this if you agree if you disagree we make do make all the corrections <laughs> i don't think you've said too much that would have required any correcting um but Unless let us I'm completely misremembering the name. <laughs> it's like you're talking about a totally wrong anime <laughs> oh the one other thing the thought that went through my mind and i don't know that i truly believe this but i did have the thought is Maybe Robert Rodriguez needs to make a Dragon Ball movie. <laughs> That's just because I want I want all things Dragon Ball right now. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so let us know. Geek out with us in the comments. Look forward to hearing your thoughts. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give us the good old thumb of encouragement, as we do love to be encouraged. And I guess now we're going to get out of here so we can uh, go watch some more stuff, because I still got Oscar movies to watch. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you all later. Jackie Chan did a Dragon Ball movie. Does he direct? If he does, I don't know how good a director he is. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>